Curious Jaws, go to the beach. This is Jaws. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, the man had a surprise for George. He took George to the beach. They found a spot and warm and sand. Then, another surprise. George saw his friend Betsy. Look, Betsy, her grandmother said. It's curious George. But Betsy did not even smile. She had never been in the ocean before. She was scared. I know you are a good swimmer, the man be told her. You'll be fine once you get in the water. Feeling better, Betsy walked towards the shore with her grandmother. George Hope spread a beach blanket and, and set aside their lunch. He was looking forward to a picnic, but it was not yet time to eat. It was time to play. In no time, George was having fun. He learned a new game. He dug the sand. And he made a new friend. Monkey are good at making friends. When he took a break, George watched a lifeguard. The lifeguard sat in a special chair. Sometimes he blew a whistle. And sometimes he looked through the bookcase. He looked like fun to be a lifeguard. George was curious. Could he be a lifeguard? Before long, a lifeguard took a break. Here was George's chance. Watching the crowd from the up in the special chair, George felt just like a lifeguard. He looked through the book course. There was a lot to see at the beach. He was seagulls flying high above, and he saw Veggie on the shore below. She still had not been in the water, and the lifeguard saw George. Hey, he asked, that no place for monkey. George thought it would be a fine place for a monkey, but he did not want to be chased trouble, so he climbed down. Back at the beach blanket, George was hungry for a snack. No one would miss just one cracker, thought George. He took one out and put it in the napkin. It looked good. Now he only has some cheese. Uh-oh, what happened to the cracker? While well, he would just have to get a new one. But now his cheese was gone. Who could be in click his next? George was curious. He put down his cracker and waited. Now George saw who was taking his treat. It was a seagull and he was still hungry. George took out another cracker, and the bird took it light out of his hand. What, fi what fun to feed a seagull. George saw more seagull down by the water. Betsy was there too. George was curious. Could those seagulls be hungry? Indeed, they were hungry. Soon a whole pack and gathered. George could not feed fast enough. Luckily, Betsy was glad to help. Out of the basket came more cracker cookies and cake, even the bread for sandwich. Still, the birds are hungry. But he and Betsy were having so much fun, they noticed. They didn't notice a tide coming in. And they didn't notice a picnic basket was floating out to the sea. George felt bad. He didn't want 
to lose this basket? Could there be a way to catch it? Joyce thought and thought. Then he remembered the lifeguard. Joyce was no lifeguard, but to save the basket, he knew just what to do. Quickly, he found the floor then carried into the water. Jumping overboard, Joyce began to paddle. He paddled out of the water and a little further, and a little further until finally he reached a basket. Betty cheered. Then, as George paddled back to the beach, Betty swam out to meet him. Everyone was glad to see George safe on the shore. A lifeguard who didn't see anything from his chair said, "That was some rescue, George." Felt proud. The man with the yellow hat picked up the basket. George was curious. George, it is our basket? He asked. Poor George. After all that, the basket was empty. There was no picnic at on the beach. He, it was all his fault. Then Betty's grandmother said, "Won't you join us for lunch?" We have plenty, and look, we have to lead in on a celebrate. Thanks to George, they have to arrest him to celebrate. Betty was in the water, and he and she didn't wasn't scared anymore. She was having fun. After everyone joined Betty and George for a swim, it was time to eat at last. There was sandwich and chip and bananas, cookie and watermelon. There was plenty for everyone, and there was even for little for guests. The end.